The accident of this Iranian climber, lost on Peak Pobeda, adds one of the saddest mountaineering stories of recent years. Mountains are no different from the rest of our world. Episodes of selfishness, quarrels, or even refusing to help others can happen for various reasons, often to save their own lives, other times just to continue climbing. Mary Jafari, dispersed on Peak Pobeda, was on an expedition to the 7000 of Kyrgyzstan and had joined an Iranian group. They arrived in Kyrgyzstan on July 18th and two days later they flew over the South Inilchak Glacier by helicopter to get to base camp. On the 1st of August, after acclimatization, they left the camp on the glacier to begin the ascent, which went as planned until the 4th of August. At around 4 p.m. that day, the group received a satellite call from a Hungarian climber who was also climbing Pobeda and who claimed to have seen a climber fall from an altitude of about 6,300 meters. At 6 p.m., the Iranian team confirmed that Mary Jafari couldn't keep up with them and was no longer with the group. The head of the base camp, Dmitry Grekov, ordered the Iranians to search for the missing companion, but they turned off their radio and didn't answer it for the rest of the day. On the 5th of August, the Iranian team announced that they had lost contact with Jafari and from base camp received the order to suspend the climb and immediately begin to search for Mary Jafari. At 12 o'clock noon, from 6,600 meters, a Ukrainian team reported that the Iranians were climbing. They no longer got in contact with base camp. Meanwhile, on the same day, the Aksai Travel Agency contacted Mary Jafari's insurance company and received permission to organize a search flight for the missing climber. One day later, on August 6th, the flight led to no results, while the Iranian team continued to climb without making any attempts to contact the base camp. The Iranians justified themselves by saying that the rescue was impossible, as Mary had fallen over 100 meters and ended up in an area of enormous crevasses. According to them, she died instantly. On the night of the 7th, the summit of Pig Pobeda was reached by the same group, but it does not end there. Later, perhaps during the descent, one of the Iranian climbers had also fallen and died. <laughs>